in a democracy uh, like New Zealand, where, as I say, I have 1.5 million masters, um, it, it can be difficult because, of course, you, you need to utilise every single um, outlet, whether it is the mainstream media, social media is huge, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, et al. Um, you know, I will do what it's required to reflect and talk to the community about the changes that we've got and articulate the vision in any part of the vision. As you can see, it's a vision that encapsulates all matters of city life. And so I, I utilise that. But, it, you know, as I said before, if all else fails, I'll sing to them. Uh, but, um, look, I'm quite old school, even though I utilise social media a lot and... You know, I spend a lot of time on TV or in the papers or whatever. I actually love these types of meetings. You cannot be, you cannot beat face to face. Um, and you know, because transport has been such a problem for our city, and is the thing that changes all. Um, I've just gone back. I mean, um, three or four days ago, I was sitting in a same size crowd. You know, at the bottom end of our city, just. With, for three and a quarter hours on my feet, taking questions and very simply just conveying what we're doing, why we're doing it, getting feedback, teasing it out and just getting a better understanding. So even though that sounds very old school and in a modern democracy of one and a half million people, what do you do going and speaking to a hundred people? My feeling is that if I'm sitting in front of a crowd of a hundred people, they're coming from a hundred families, they're going to talk to a hundred workmates and you get the power of a hundred or a thousand from the people who have been in there so that the message can be delivered in many ways but the best message is from the heart face to face that's that's the one